Well, shalom, y'all. This is uh, Kazoo Cruiser again. We're in the. Um, this is uh, this is part two of the secret weapon science that I've got to entrust to the U.S. government. So I have to talk to the right people about this because this is, you know, oddly enough, one of the prototypes that blew up. Okay, it collected so much energy, it just blew up. Okay, it blew all the windows out. That's when we started putting the reinforced stuff in there. Um, and, you know, it didn't blow that out. So we need to think about that because these things collect energy. Once they start emanating, you just want to turn them on and leave them alone. Okay, so we'll be building one of these things with the substrate. Okay, and it's alignable and everything else and supportable. I mean, it's base, it's base neutral, right? We just start star sighting, and this is our technology we add to this thing. Uh, you know, oddly enough, there's other uses of this, and we'll talk about that in the future. Nobody's going to touch them. The pigs don't care about them, and uh, we don't want to have to pack them with explosives. Okay? Uh, it's different technology. We don't need that. Uh, somebody gives us good ideas doesn't need us to give them ideas about how to save them, save us from from each other, okay? So there's a little door, it's a pyramid kind of thing, but this is another advanced design we're working with, okay? It's just a steel spider, okay, that combats the real ones, okay? I'm gonna put a bounty out on snakes, especially the big ones. We're gonna catch them and throw them in with the pigs, okay? I've got a statement I'm gonna make later. I'm not gonna break it out of the notebook. Uh, maybe I should with me, uh, and then you'll see what the flag looks like if you've missed that one. I didn't know if I put that one on. So this is an undisclosed location, you know, this, I'm not telling you much about it. Um, and we can get the contracts, okay, people pay for these things, they can put them in the yard, and it's like a satellite receiver, you don't want to use them though, they don't work for this technology, because this is all passive. You have to work with me on this, folks, to learn how we're going to fix this thing called the meltdown in Syria, okay, it's worse than atomic. Okay, some of you saw this yesterday, now we got a little light on it today, okay? And I'm going to kind of try to keep this shorter, okay? That's, uh, that's okay, you're testing the camera with me, okay? This is a prototype. We need to start manufacturing these in a wholesale scale way. There's no stars on it, you notice? No stars on this flag. It's one uh, three-dimensional rendering of a uh, two-dimensional rendering of a three-dimensional uh, abstract concept because you've never seen it. Unless it's on the internet. And you've never heard it unless you're subsonically challenged. Um, and that's a problem because uh, somebody broke the bell underneath the thing. And, and um, Okay, so let's go into the description here. This is 72 across, 60 down. Okay? 70 across, 60 down. And you've seen what it is. That's 15 inches across the front. Now, if somebody's going to make one of these things and say, I can make two of them, because you'll have two pieces. That's 15 there. So you'll have two pieces. And you can make a second flag, it's just a mirror image, okay? And this is two dimensional, so you gotta have the white triangle looking like that on the other side. So uh, it looks identical on both sides. Now the truth is, it would do the same thing if it was reversed, but you'd have a six pointed star, and I don't want stars on the flag, you can only see three of them at a time. So we can play with that idea, but it only has to be on one side at a time. Because you've got 15 here, and that's also 15, okay? So it's a 60 degree angle. And it's, um, kind of moving through the stream and it's like a seed coming out of the out of the ground and like this okay it's like a pyramid coming out towards the, the sky um, you can kind of see some of it you can only see two sides of the pyramid at a time you realize that you can only hug two sides of that, um, that tree at a time and it's not an inside and an outside it's a pyramid it's not supposed to be an inside it's a solid structure and we're talking about this. This is the new flag of the caravan. Anybody wearing this gets amnesty, as far as I'm concerned. But then they're stopped at the gate and, and everything else to protect me from them. And I've got a security risk for the president. I want him to pay attention. I hope this goes to him quickly. Uh, we've got the weapons of mass deconstruction getting prototyped out here. You've already got weapons of mass destruction. It's called a bayonet. Uh, it's also called a scimitar. It's called people holding on to bad, bad resonance receivers. So the elephants, which are kind of immune, will carry the statuary. It was raw brick or whatever, okay, and then it was melted down and made into statuary. They'll carry it back the same way. It'll, and then they'll go into the, um, the miry stuff to play. Elephants will scare everybody away. And when they blow a trumpet in Zion, people will listen. Um, and I've got a um, not chemical uh, weapons defense. Uh, but projectile in a different kind of way, and it projects sound. And it doesn't project Arabic, but it would be obnoxious all the time. And I cannot talk about that on the Internet. 
So I want to give the president my phone number. Do I need to put it up here? Uh, you've seen the flag, okay? You have to have a way to contact me. And I'm a little shy about that, but you can always leave comments. Like, you could call at such and such a time. And um, I'll do that. Put your number in the, in the... You want me to put my number out here? Why don't you put your number out there on the Internet, and uh, I can call you when it's convenient. Um, because you might get drunk and dial, and I don't want to hear from you then. We can exchange letters, and then I just put my foot down before I have to deal with the drag down, and that's another story for a different time. Uh, but we bring those sick kids to the shores of Egypt, and we put them on the Red Sea shore, and they just wiggle their toes in the water. Um, and they've been circumcised, yes, circumcised. And we clean them up, rub them off with some snow, and then everybody's kind of fun, having fun justice on the beach. Every one of them's getting saved. We're coming aboard with no weapons, and we're just happy that they're there. And the kids especially. Let's get the kids out of Syria. And the sick kids too, okay? We don't need them as pig food. And, you know, we can fix this thing if we work together. So let's get the elephants moving over there from India and separate them from the bad residents. We're going to try to fix the pyramid as we uh, creep forward and take new ground uh, from bad people. Okay, we're going to put the pigs into Syria and we're going to drive the pigs into the sea. And this is what it's all about, is rescuing people, um, getting them to take baths and just live a nice life. And we'll send turkeys over the border. And this is going to six minutes. So I've got to stop before it hits 666, six, six, right? Everybody's scared of that number. That's just part of the bad resonance. It's never going to get there, folks. Relax. Watch. It's 656, six, 57, five, 58, five, 59. Oh, it disappears. It doesn't exist in a proper universe. So that scary bits that we just can deconstruct as we say shalom and fly off into the new universe. Well, i got to find the phone switch here. What, you know, is this the cell phone? Is that what happened? No, shalom, folks.